Yeah, I'm Daniel Kapangawana Lewis, uh, a resident of Kasempa, and at the same time, a senior citizen. Uh, there is a concern, and it must be, it's a serious concern, over what has happened at Dengue, where most of the youths, and even the uh, men and women, elderly people, had an opportunity to go and uh, dig some uh, gold from that area. In fact, uh, with the with the permission from the chief, and the chief just uh, asked for peace and harmony while these people were doing their mining. And uh, of course, for sure, people started mining in peace, in a peacefully, and uh, I, for one, I went there to see what was happening. I was really impressed and humbled to see the operations which were going on. Young men were really seriously engaged in digging, in mining activities, and it was bringing them some little of revenue, considering the type of the situation in which we are. Look at the effects of drought. And this one, we thought, and we think, and we agree, we believe it's an answer from God over what has happened, the drought that has uh, ravaged our area, constituents. Now, to my surprise and my disappointment, some few greedy individuals, they have gone beyond to hire the police to come and disperse these innocent people. Where are we going? Let's feel for each other. Eh? What uh, should have happened? It was supposed just to harmonize the situation. I agree with the youths. Look at what is happening now. The youths have come back from that area with their shovels and the peaks. If you look at them, it's uh, really a very pathetic situation. You can't like it. It's inhuman. Let's feel for others. And uh, I'm still appealing to the high authority if they can take a better step to accommodate these uh, young men and women so that they can also earn a living from that. Look at the cost of living. It is escalating. It is uh, this uh, very opportunity which could have seen them out of that uh, absurd poverty in which we are. I think we have people, we have the mechanism here in Kasempa. We have the council chairperson, we have the minister, and we have the commissioner. These people with other serious stakeholders, if they sit together and then make an appeal to the highest authority for them to allow these young men continue mining at the, the smallest, smallest scale that I observed the time I went there. These people should have honored the word from the chief, as it is now. It's like they have not honored the word from the chief. And I have observed, in most cases, our leaders in this area, they don't consider the plea and the cry from the royal establishment. For instance, let's take uh, the road leading to the palace. There is no proper route. There is no proper road. We were told uh, these roads were going to be maintained after rain season. Now we are almost approaching rain season and nothing is happening. So that's why I'm also I'm, I'm saying there's a gap, of course, a serious gap, in fact. Let them work in consultation with the, the stakeholders and the chief for them to be guided because with them, they, they are supposed to work uh, according to the people's wish because the development comes with people, but if they feel they know what they are doing and uh, leave out uh, the stakeholders, this is what is happening and it has made uh, the uh, development in Kastempa to stop. Really, let them think twice, those who are concerned. I plead with you, may God and the Spirit of God visit you, people concerned. Thank you very much.